Yo, what's up, guys? If you want a shout out or if you just want to support your boy, make sure you hit that like on this video. Subscribe, turn post notifications on. Lastly, click the link in the description below to download the app that is sponsoring me. All you have to do is download the app and then use it for a couple of minutes and you're good. After you've done all that, make sure you commented, I download the app and you're done. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. Today we're gonna be checking out Casually Explained Levels of Wealth. I love Casually Explained videos just because they're so poorly drawn purposely and they still are so hilariously funny. It makes me make makes me miss grade A under A a little bit. I haven't seen him in a long time. What is happening to this dude? But levels of wealth, we all know that the 99% and the 1% exist, that the middle class is disappearing. We all know about this. So let's go ahead and check out Casually Explained's explanation on levels of wealth. Because he always explains everything so perfectly so don't forget to hit me with a like on this video subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a post go ahead and comment what is your ideal income my ideal income obviously you want to reach for the top i want millions millions billions trillions quadzillions quintillions <laughs> but enough of me talking let's go ahead and check out casually explain levels of wealth hope you guys enjoy the video when we think of money it's usually in terms of what things we can buy with it but your level of wealth doesn't only determine what you own it can determine entirely what your life looks like and I wanted to give a bit of an overview of what that could look like at some different intervals. Now, at the bottom of the pyramid, of course, we have the alcoholic, amphetamine-abusing low who mooch off public services because they can't pay their debts or find a job. Yep. Fucking grad students. <laughs> Next, we have the working and middle class, which makes up about 90% of the population. Even though it might seem like they can't accomplish much compared to the elites of society, members of the middle class can work together to become much more powerful. Yep, That's to be example, honest. With one roommate, they can afford rent, but with two, they can afford furniture. The middle class earns up to 300000 a year, but the median <laughs> individual income is a lot more modest at 38000 This can be pretty misleading, though, because if you're 50 with a wife and two kids, 38 k a year is pretty rough. That's if you're 21 pretty single, bad. You're buying resale Yeezys thinking, man, I wonder how much sex I'd have if I didn't live with my parents. <laughs> there are a couple of lifestyle indicators to check to see if you're in the middle class, such as your grandparents had five kids. That was so true, though. Kids, and you're going to put a stop to it once and for all. And you don't have an emergency fund because you figure that if you're on vacation, your appendix gives out. Why would you spend 20K on surgery when you could just die? Even beyond the middle class, we get to the start of your truly wealthy people. These are notorious 1% oh. who... Oh, the 1%. How I hate hearing about them just because they're so damn rich. And they're just like, oh my gosh, give me some of your money. Like, they have so much money and it's so sad that they tr they control more wealth than the rest 99% of us. Like, how bad does that feel? They typically have an individual income of 300000 or higher or a net mm. worth of over $8 million. Ah. Usually this means you have more than one home, active investments, travel whenever you want, and basically have the best of everything short of private jets and a Battlefront 2 season pass. <laughs> but in the same way someone in the arts might wave their fist at an accomplished engineer, there's a huge difference between people within the 1%. As an example, if you're worth 75 million, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world just by asking. But if you're worth 75 billion, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world without asking. <laughs> Once you're worth over a hundred million dollars, people use your first and last name when they talk about you. And if you're not famous, you would have a Wikipedia page that you didn't make yourself. You likely make up to ten million a year, which to compare with a more normal income is like going to Costco and paying a dollar fifty for a hot dog, but getting a hundred hot dogs. I don't know why I left that in. Um, at this why? Point, why is that magnetic, for you? More wealth, and ironically, things start costing less. I could pay five thousand dollars for a Gucci suit, and people might think I'm cool. But if I were actually cool, Gucci would have paid me to wear it. Well, that sounds pretty great. Oh, that's might true. Start to wonder if people like you for you, or only like you because you're rich and famous. That's the big moral dilemma that I always thought I would face. You know, like if you ever do blow up on YouTube and you start making good money, you become rich and famous. Are you still gonna have the friends that are messing with you from the get-go, or are you gonna have like all these fake friends you never really met in your life? But I guess that's just something I'm gonna have to, you know, attack once we get there. So cross my fingers, hope I don't have fake friends. Fortunately, though. You are rich and famous. So finally, at the very top of the pyramid, we have the people worth over a billion dollars, the 0.001%. Guys like Elon, Jeff, Branson, and Bill. These people have so much money, they can literally change the world. Save the kids, done. Create your own space program, done. Dinner with the president, you are the president. You don't fly <laughs> business, you buy the business. When you get pet supplies from Amazon, you mean the rainforest. And when you say, hey babe, how about I drive this time? You're talking to the car. 
If you look at the absolute top, Jeff Bezos recently overtook Bill Gates, and to be as rich as the two of them, you would have to earn about $5,000 every minute you were alive. Oh, gosh. They even said themselves, I don't think I could even spend the money if I tried. Fucking amateurs. Now, with the pyramid capped off... I'm mad now! It does seem like the implication here is that your life gets better the more money you have, which brings about the age-old question of, does money buy you happiness? It does. It does. I think the best explanation is that money won't buy you happiness, but it can make problems go away that make you unhappy. Okay, Like when you're okay. going to take money out of your bank account and get charged a fee because there's no money in your bank account. <laughs> when you buy tickets online, you have to pay extra for doing <laughs> With that said, I wanted to end it at that point, but I told my friend and she said, is that it? Is it just first world countries? What about the rest of the world? And, you know, Ooh. like they say, you, you can't make your sneakers and wear them too. Um... The good news is that my demographics show that there aren't many people in third world countries watching my videos. They don't have internet. So, um, we'll worry about that another time. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. I actually explained, you did it once again. You got me laughing, and it's really hard to do that. Levels of wealth, man, I just hope I can be part of that 0.001%. I don't think it's possible. Like he said, $5,000 for every minute you're alive. And they even said they don't think they can spend all that money if they tried. Bro, give me all that, give me that money and I will spend it for you. But don't forget to hit me a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Holcomb. Stay charming, my friends.